today we're going to replace a thermostat on a 2007 Ford Taurus. Now it'll this will be the same for any car this generation. I'll I'll put the years that this works on in the title, but uh, this has got a three liter Vulcan engine in it. The thermostat housing is right here. There's three bolts, one here, one there, and one right there. And the tools that you're going to need, really you just need a flex head ratchet with a long 10 millimeter socket. Or if you don't have a flex head ratchet, you can use a U-joint. You may find a short extension, a U-joint, and a shallow socket easier. You don't need to remove the air box. You might. Um, that could potentially help you out a little bit, but you don't have to. You also don't have to remove this radiator hose, um, but you might find it useful. So uh, now we're going to go ahead and remove these bolts and uh, pull the thermostat out. Uh, three bolts. One, two, and then three. Once you get this apart, you're going to want to clean this surface and this inner surface where your thermostat sits really well because if there's a bunch of corrosion on there, um, it's it's not going to seal. And just so you know, this is the correct positioning. You want this spring and this element on the engine side. You want this end in your thermostat housing. So then uh, use a new gasket and then Put this in here, the new gasket, and because I've only got one hand to do this, I'm going to have to do it off camera, but then you just bolt it back up right here to these, these three bolts. Make sure this surface is also clean. Make sure you're not leaving any debris inside here. So when you're putting this back together, one tip is uh, just put the screws in loosely. I put that one in first, and then this one, and then this bottom one, so you can make sure everything's aligned before you tighten it up. And all three of these bolts are the same length. They don't have, um, they're not pocketed. They come all the way through, all three of them, so you don't have to worry about which one goes where. Once you get your thermostat housing back on, you're going to want to check your coolant level. Uh, you want to keep this on during the procedure. If you take this off and then take your housing off, you're going to dump a lot more coolant. So I can see I'm all, I know I'm low, so I'm going to add some premix in here and then. Once that's full, I'll start the car, run it, make sure it gets up to operating temperature, watching my coolant level in the reservoir as I go. You can also check for leaks while it's running, and that you want to make sure it doesn't leak. And you see where I got that rag? There's just a little pocket in that aluminum casting of the transmission housing that, that holds a bunch of fluid you're going to want to clean out before you uh, take it out on the road. So watch your coolant level until it gets up to temp. First couple of times you drive it, check again, and then just make sure you're topped off. You can see a uh, cold level here. It sh should be somewhere in between those two areas. So uh, that's how you change the thermostat on a Ford Taurus.